What's going on guys? Welcome to another gameplay video. Today we are testing out some Selesnia tokens. So uh, the last week we, we kind of tested out Anointed Procession with not much success. Uh, unfortunately it didn't really go our way, but uh, we're trying it again today. Uh, this time in a much more token focused build. Uh, this one I've only play tested once. Uh, did okay. Uh, and so I'm hoping that we can get a few wins off of it, but we'll see. Uh, the idea here is obviously to spit out as many tokens as possible, power them all up and be able to swing in. Um, and so to, to do that, so we've got some rampers, Alanawar Elves in particular, uh, as well as Song of Frailies. Uh, this is a really, really nice one for a deck like this where you can get everything to tap for mana and then just keep playing stuff out. Uh, now to keep that going, we also have the Immortal Sun to help us draw extra cards. Uh, we also have Mirari's Wake, and both of these actually power up all of our creatures, but uh, Mirari's Wake also doubles our mana. Uh, and so really, we just have a lot of really powerful stuff, and we're hoping to get all of these engine pieces together uh, with the help of you know these little rampers like Llanowar Elves to get us to where we need to be. Um, it's ambitious, we know that, but it's going to be fun. Uh, we also, so in, t in terms of token generators, we do have Reese the Redeemed. Fantastic card, only a two of because it is a legendary creature, we don't want too many. Uh, but this can actually double all of the tokens that we have, which is really good, and just spit out some tokens herself. Uh, we have Finale of Glory, which is really, really nice if you can get that X to equal 10 or more, uh, which is not very difficult in a deck like this. Uh, then you just get tons of angels. Uh, and then obviously with Anointed Procession, by the way, we double all of this, so that's kind of the idea. Uh, Gaia's Blessing's in here to not only draw us some cards and do that kind of thing, but um, also kind of keep us moving forward. There's a lot of like enchantment destruction uh, and things like that that can take care of all these really powerful things that we have going on. Gaia's Blessing's a great way to shuffle stuff back in uh, and just make sure that we continue moving forward. That's, that's very important. Um, <laughs> Pride Sovereign here, uh, another little lord, uh, but only for cats. Uh, however, it does spit out some, some cat tokens as well, which is really, really nice. Uh, absolutely love that. Uh, the first Aroan games, uh, this not only creates some tokens, but also can power up some of those tokens and then ideally get some value off of that by drawing a few cards. Uh, if we've got a creature with power four or greater on that third saga, uh, or on that third lore counter, excuse me, uh, we're able to draw two cards off of that, keep ourselves moving forward. Uh, same with the Gaia's Blessing and of course the Immortal Sun to help us draw those cards. Anointed Procession, doubling up on all the tokens. Helm of the Host, uh, a really interesting one. Uh, at the beginning of combat on your turn, create a token that's a copy of the equipped creature, uh, except that token isn't legendary, uh, and the, the token gains haste. So, what's kind of nice about this is you play this out, equip it to Reese, uh, you get copies of Reese, and then you kind of just keep keep going back and forth. Um, it's really, really good. Uh, trouble, or tender Shoot Dryad, a little token generator as well. Uh, and if you have the city's blessing, which often we will because we will have quite a number of permanents theoretically, uh, then we can kind of power all of those sapperlings up and then of course double up on them. Uh, and then of course Marari's Wake and Immortal Sun at the top end. Uh, now we do have a lot of 1-1 one, one counter synergy, so we do have a, a single Karn's Bastion here. Uh, it's, it's actually really nice because even with the, uh, the lore counters here on Song of Freilis as well as uh, the Aroan games, it's just a nice way to kind of continue moving forward quickly. Um, it's not always the best play, but it, it is quite nice. We are running 24 lands, uh, 4 Fable Passage, 4 Temple Garden, 4 Sun Petal Grove, uh, 7 and 4 on the Forest to Plane split. So that's the deck. Uh, we'll see how we do. Again, no idea if this is good, and this is in Historic, obviously. Uh, and so we're going to be learning as we go. Um, but we'll do the best we can. Hopefully we'll have a fun time along the way. I am enjoying playing Historic. Uh, really, really am enjoying playing Historic. Um, it's just a fun format. It's a little more like open, obviously, for, I mean, bigger card pool. For obvious reasons, though, you get uh, a lot more variety, and I like that. Um, other than goblins. You see a lot of goblins is what I'm realizing. Uh, so let's see what we can do. Uh, I actually do think this is a keep. We've got a Llanowar Elf into Anointed Procession. Kind of have a gap here, but uh, if this Llanowar Elf lives... We're in okay shape. Um, probably follow this up with a Fable Passage because uh, we're obviously going to miss out on on some tapped mana here. Uh, we'll go ahead and attack in. Might as well. Um, and then we'll we'll get this guy out there. Okay. 
Uh, looks like we are going to get a thir uh, turn three anointed procession out, which is great. Um, we'll just get a white source here. I don't actually think it matters too much, but this gives us two and two, which is kind of nice. Um, so we'll see if it works. Ooh, Reese, the redeemed. I like that. Uh, let's go ahead and get the procession out. Uh, my guess is this is either like a Winota or a control deck kind of thing. Um, not 100% sure, but we'll find out. Uh, kind of just have to hope that the Anointed Procession sticks. Um, and it'd be great to draw a land. We could get Tender Shoe Dryad out uh, and start kind of spitting out a bunch of tokens. Um, that being said, we will see what we end up getting. Okay, Carnage Bastion. Um, well... Do we want to go for Marari's Wake uh, to get the Anointed Procession, or do we just want to go for the Tender Shoe Dryad? Um, is kind of the question here. Uh, and I'm I'm of the camp. Let's let's shoot for the Tender Shoot. Let's shoot for the Tender Shoot. That was what I said. I love that. Um, <laughs> all right. Uh, let's see what the opponent wants to do. Nice that we double up on these tokens, though. I really like that. Um, and then next turn we can get Marari's Wake down, assuming we don't lose out all of our creatures, and um, really get a lot of power on the board. Um, can also get a Reese the Redeemed out with Anointed Procession, so maybe that's a little better. I don't want to overcommit too much, um, given that they they probably have things like Shatter uh, or Settle, um, and those are definitely cards that I'm worried about here. We'll see what they pull. Um, if it is, excuse me, a sweeper, obviously we're not going to commit as much to the Rees. Ah, okay. Well, there we go. That's nice. Um, so, I think... Hmm. Let's, uh, let's Marari's Wake here. Um, swing here. Let's swing here. Let's swing here, and we'll see what they do. They can just block this, and that's fine, but there we go. We could have, I guess, swung. That was a bit... That was a dumb attack. Uh, anyway, <laughs> uh, do we want to do this? I'm actually going to hold off. <clears throat> I really want to get that Reese down, but uh, we do have the mana to do both of these next turn, so I'm kind of okay with waiting. Um, and now we have the City's Blessing and just a ton of stuff, so like... Ooh, yeah, glad we didn't play Reese. It can really hurt us here. Five. Yeah, that gets everything. That is a hit. Woo! Uh, so the question is here, they do have this in hand, but not... En well, they do have enough mana, don't they? Um, but we gotta go for it. We give them the option. They can either kill Reese or uh, the Anointed Procession, but... They're going to kill one of them. Uh, yeah. Makes sense. That's fine. Uh, they might be able to kill this, too. Yeah, Glass Casket. Okay. Well. Here we go. We're uh, not in great shape. They could have killed both anyway, of course. They had Ugin. Um, that really doesn't bode well for putting a Reeves out. Um, I think we pass. I would love to put this out, but there's just no way that we can. Yep. Uh, are they just going to emblem? Sure. Uh, yep. I think this game is slowly reaching uh, a point where we can no longer win. Um, unless we just get a phenomenal hand here, or a draw here, excuse me. Um, then we may have a shot, but chances are we don't. Uh, they also have the Yorian to be able to blow up kind of anything. Um, even that doesn't really matter. I mean, we'll throw it out there, but they're, they just get to uh, Ugin and kill it. Um, so I think chances are we just die here, and that's fine. That is fine. Should technically tap for mana, though it really doesn't matter. Um, let's pull out a white. It's fine. All right, well, they uh, they really get... Oh, Blast Zone 2? Man. Yeah, this is just a well-set-up deck, I'm not going to lie. Um, uh, we save the most damage by doing this. 
they're gonna ping us with this. They would have just killed Lanawar Elf anyway, so I think it's fine to do this. Sure. You got it. <laughs> wow, look at this. Does so much. No, it doesn't. Alright, we get a 1-1. One, one. Go us. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we just, we just die. I'm just gonna go ahead and concede. <laughs> oh, wow, okay, yeah. Man, they were well set up uh, to deal with what we were doing. That's fine. Let's jump into game two. Uh, we kind of got to see what the deck was trying to do, though. Uh, with Anointed Procession as well as that Tinder Shoot Dryad, we were getting a lot of value. Uh, it's just Ugin. It's Ugin. Uh, which is a very rampant card, so that does speak to the viability of this deck. Um, but, you know, it's still fun to to try out new stuff. At least that's how I feel. I like trying out new stuff. I really like the card Anointed Procession too, that's why we're revisiting it so quickly, so sorry, deal with it. Uh, yeah, we keep. It's not the most amazing hand in the world, but uh, it does again have a turn three Anointed Procession, which pretty good. I'll take it. Uh, probably Fable Passage next. Yeah, okay. Ooh. Um, yeah, I mean, swing in. Uh, so we Fable Passage, then we, we Sun Petal Grove into Anointed Procession. Wow, yeah, it's pretty good. Let's go ahead and do this. Get our land. This Lanowar Elf is not going to live very long, so let's take the opportunity now, get that Anointed Procession down. Um, and then now, of course, any token that we create is gonna gonna double up. Hopefully, they don't have a way to deal with this. I don't know how rampant, uh, you know, our uh, enchantment hate and Jeskai colors is, but um, we'll see what we can we can manage here. Uh, it'd be great to get just a nice little token generator, but uh, unfortunately, it doesn't look like that's happening. Um, all right, let's do this. Go ahead and get a green source, and we'll just play another Anointed Procession. That's the best we can do. Uh, fortunately, I mean, when we do get a token generator, assuming we can make it that long, um, we're going to really make some tokens, so that's nice. Um, beautiful full art to fairy. Nice. Very nice. Fortunately, I mean, this just plussing up is a problem, but generally speaking, this isn't doing a ton uh, against us. Um, I mean, we Mirari's Wake. We're doing a lot of setup, which is just so good. <laughs> um, yeah, I... This deck is slow, and that's fine. We know that. It's okay. Also, they didn't activate Teferi, did they? That's interesting. Um, yeah, hit us for a crap ton. Give me a good token generator. That'd be great. Uh, the Immortal Sun does shut down Teferi, which is great. Uh, ooh. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, that's pretty good. Also kind of just think the Immortal Sun is a great way to go, um, but if they draw extra cards, we just die. Um, hmm. Well, that doesn't really stop anything from happening, though, does it? So let's, let's do this. Yep. Kind of have to hope we don't die. Uh, if they can draw another card, they, they win. <laughs> um, but that's fine. Uh... Sure. I mean, this, I guess. And we'll just do this. Um, yep. So the reason I didn't do this is because um, we couldn't have created enough, um, which is kind of terrible. And now, if they just have a draw spell, which they should, then all they have to do is hit us for the Pyromancers here, and we die. Um, which I'm guessing they have? Maybe they don't? Do they really not? Wow. Alright, well, that's not at all what I expected. Um, <laughs> can we actually do this, though, is my question. Um, 
well. Let's see. Let's do this, 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 and this. All right, well, we can make it for nine. <laughs> oh, 10, we could have done 10. I suck. All right, I'm conceding, I'm tilted. We lose anyway, but um, I miscounted. Gosh darn it, <laughs> we could have actually done it. Um, granted, we would have lost to just any card draw spell, but still, that was that was pretty cool. Um, I think this deck needs some like life gain or something. That would be kind of fun. Um, like the uh, the like Soul Sisters kind of strategy built into this would be sweet. Um, all right, that was just a huge misplay on my end. That was really bad. We did make tons of tokens though, which was very fun. Um, so let's see if we can we can scrape together a win here. Uh, do we keep this? Nah. I'm gonna say no. This is worse. Um, but we do have a, a Pride Sovereign here, so I think we keep. It's not great. We don't have any white mana. Doubled up on Marari's Wake, which really isn't all that helpful um, early game. And so this isn't amazing. We're gonna ditch one of these. Uh, yeah. I have to hope we can get there. Um, probably not gonna be able to against this aggro -y deck, but we'll see. We'll see. I have high hopes. Uh, for each other cat you control. Okay. Yeah, this deck is like bonkers good. Um, it just it draws so efficiently, um, which is awesome, might I say. Um, but unfortunately for us, that means they're probably going to be able to go off like now uh, to turn four. It's it's going to be pretty big. Um, the only positive is if they can't really give this flying, and we are able to just get a bunch of creatures out we have blockers so like they'll be able to gain a bunch of life but um we should be able to uh to scrape together something there still no white mana uh which is a problem all right well probably should have mulliganed again there was a reasonable shot that we should have mm-hmm yep yep it's real good. Uh, nice. <laughs> Let's do this. I hate doing this, but um, if we don't, then they get a. If we don't get another creature, they get a free attack in next turn to just win. Uh, and we're just not drawing the land, guys. We're gonna die. It's three straight losses. Anointed Procession is not my card, apparently, here. <laughs> um, but hey, we're we're trying. Um, okay, on the plus side... Well, that's not really a giant plus side, is it? They don't have any more cards in hand. Um, granted, like, half their deck is going to be a live draw, but, you know, there's that. <laughs> oh, jeez. So now they just give it pro green and get to attack in. But let's see if they miss it. Let's just see. Yeah. Miss it. Please miss it. Oh, that's good. Okay, I was about to say. That seems weird. Really? They let us declare blockers. That was a misplay. They could have very easily won that turn. Well... We have a shot. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, that's really funny, actually. Um, okay, well, this is literally the only thing we can do. So, here we go. <laughs> we gonna block for days. This is actually really great, though, because now um, we do have one of each color. So, we have another blocker. <laughs> oh, goodness. We are so dead. Um, that's good. And now they just get to draw a bunch of stuff. Um, yeah. There is a world where we get out of this. It is so unlikely, it's ridiculous. Now there isn't. <laughs> uh, this has flying. <laughs> well, 
Well, here we are. Here we are, guys. Let's let's see what we can do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I actually think we block with these three threes. Um, the reason being, this gives us... We have to stick with two colors here. We have to have two different colors so we can block. Uh, but chances are we're just going to die anyway. So that's fine. Alright. That's so not helpful. Um, let's we'll do this. Alright. Uh, uh, me. I do. I do that. All right. <laughs> I would love just a white land. <laughs> okay, that counts. Um, yeah, I mean, that works. We now get anointed procession down, um, which is pretty good. And we're going to draw two if we make it to next turn. Uh, we just kind of have to hope they can't equip up this envoy. And then we're like kind of not far off. Um, all right, here we go. <laughs> get get a couple extra tokens. Oh yes, they get hit a land. That's so helpful. <laughs> um, this envoy is a problem. We have to like be able to beat that quickly. Um, and I don't know that we can, but we're gonna try. If we can get to a finale, uh, like Marari's wake into finale next turn or the turn after. Excuse me. We might have a shot, um, because we can get a crap ton of, <laughs> of little tokens out. Um, yeah, we just block here again. The lack of trample is really hitting them. Oh, that's such a problem card. Um, all right. This is like a nail-biting game, though, I will say. This is kind of fun. Um, another procession, sure. All right, well, we draw two. That's helpful. Let's get a land. Perfect. Okay. Let's do this. I'm going to get a white source here. Uh, yep. We got to play Marari's Wake, I think. That's just by far the best thing that we can do. Um, and then let's play Anointed Procession. So this is going to spit out even more tokens. Um, to the point where we might be able to start kind of doubling up on some things here. But we'll we'll see. Uh, they really messed up, by the way, by not giving this pro green at one point. They could have easily killed us a long time ago. And we really have to hope they just brick. Uh, if they get an enchantment... Oh. Yes. Guys, we may have done it. <laughs> sure. Now we've got, like, a butt ton of tokens. So they have to consider actually attacking in, because... Yeah, that's, like, the only thing they can do now. Holy crap. It's working. <laughs> Yet more tokens. Okay. We get a gold token. Is that just mana? Is that, I don't remember what gold tokens do. Oh, that. Okay, well. We're, we're going to make a ton. All right, here we go. All right, let's count correctly. Um, okay, eight, nine, 10, 16. And we don't have any cheapening spells. So that was where we messed up the last time, by the way. Hands up, let's do it. <laughs> Guys, we made a lot of, we made a lot of things. <laughs> Um, well, this is a bit tilting, I would imagine. <laughs> Holy crap. Uh, <laughs> woo. Yes. All right. We did it. We did the thing. <laughs> um, yeah. Well, that's pretty good. Um, we're gonna, we're just gonna do this. They can just block a bunch, but I said good game, and it's really not good game. They could, they could do some stuff here, but we have a ton of blockers. Um, 
So you can give this pro white and get an attack in. Uh, so if they still draw like an enchantment, they could do it, but they missed that play once already. So I don't have high hopes that they're gonna see it again, which is great. If they fail to see it, that just means that we're great. Excuse me, but um, you know, there's always the chance. We did it though. I mean, hey, this is what the deck was born to do. So we made we made it happen. Even if we don't win, we made it happen. So that's fine by me. Really? You're gonna block there? And there? Dude, you gotta leave yourself out. This is not leaving yourself out. Yeah. That was very incorrect. Um, so the reason I say that, if they had gotten uh, any enchantment off the top to power this up, they could power it up, give it pro white or whatever. Does the enchantment fall off though, I wonder? I wonder if that's the case. Maybe it's not, I don't know. Um, but you would be able to at least attack in. Of course they didn't, so that's good. Good game. We did the thing, guys. All right, we got one win. We got one, that's all we needed. Uh, man, that was fun, that was so fun. That was what I was hoping for. We did it, that's all I needed. We're gonna do three more games, of course, so do keep, it, uh, keep that in your mind. We'll have that video up very, very soon. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate you sticking with my historic jank silliness that is this deck. Uh, it is really fun. It's a really fun one, but it it's not consistent and it's probably not good, but hey, it's fun. Uh, thanks for watching guys. Really do appreciate it. I will see you very soon for part two.